Matthew chapter 1. Amen. I'm going to mess with you today. Are you there? Yes. Let's start with verse 1. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Verse 17. So all the generations from Abraham to David are fourteen generations. And from David until the carrying away into Babylon are fourteen generations. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are fourteen generations. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for the privilege the opportunity to once again be in your house. Yes. And Lord, right now I ask for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Lord, to rest upon me this morning as the minister of your word. Lord, I pray for the anointing of the Holy Spirit to move and hover and rest over this congregation today. Lord, I pray that our hearts be open and receptive this morning. That our ears our spiritual ears be open to hear what the Spirit is speaking to the church today. And Father, I ask you this morning, Lord God, to bless your people, Lord, that are under the sound of my voice today. Lord, bless them throughout this holiday season. And Lord, help us each and every one, Lord, not to forget why we celebrate Christmas. <coughs> and Father, we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory this morning in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody in the house of God said, Amen. 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 May be seated. Though you probably wonder this morning, where's Pastor going? With the genealogy of Jesus Christ. The lineage of Jesus Christ. I, I didn't want to go through all of the names this morning. But I do want to talk about a tree. Uh -huh. Not a Christmas tree. Amen. Maybe the original Christmas tree. I don't know. Depending on how you want to look at it. <laughs> but we're going to look at his family tree. Uh -huh. Come on. This morning. Amen. Amen. Because there's some very interesting things there that I think that you might want to see this morning. So as Matthew begins his account of the story of Jesus with the genealogy of Jesus Christ, All right. the Jewish people, their genealogy was very important to them. Yeah. It told you who your people were. Mm -hmm. It told you what tribe they came from. Come on, huh? yeah. And most importantly, it told them whether or not they were 100% Jewish or not. Come on. Come on. And to the Jewish people, to the nation of Israel, that was very important to them. Their genealogy <coughs> was very important to them. Yeah. So the Jewish people kept very careful records of their genealogy. But you know, there's one group of people this morning who care about genealogy more than anyone else. Think about it. And that is royalty. Think about it. It is essential to royal to royalty to be able to prove that they are indeed descended from the royal family so that they can make a claim to the throne. Uh -huh. And that's exactly why the genealogy of Jesus is so important. It proved that he is the man who was to be the king of the Jews. It's the man who was to be king of the promise is the man who was supposed to be king of the kingdom of God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. And it's amazing this morning when you look at the names and the things that some of these people went through. Uh -huh. From a wandering Jew in Babylon through slavery in Egypt through wandering in the desert through warfare through 
You see all of the things that they, what conclusion can be made this morning? Uh -huh. That God will work through all types of people Amen. to accomplish His will. Amen. God can work through all types of people to accomplish His will. Yeah. God can work through all types of people to bring about yeah. what God wants to bring about. Yeah. There's nothing that limits God. Yeah. We might limit Him to what He can do for us, yeah. but there's nothing that limits God. Yeah. He is a limitless God. Yeah. He is able to perform
she was a prostitute. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Because she married his first son. He was wicked and God killed him off, married his second son, and, and God wasn't happy with him, and, and he died. And so Judah promised her to his next son, his youngest son, when he got old enough, but when he got old enough, he didn't do what he was supposed to do. So she tricked him into thinking she was a prostitute. Now, why he went into a prostitute? Now, that's a whole different story. Hello. But we're talking about the lineage of Jesus. The people who the bloodline came down through. For Jesus to be born, come on somebody. And then we find, we find that when Tamar and Judah, when, when she gave birth to those twins, the oldest one was used for the bloodline to come down through. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now understand, Judah had another son. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah. But that's not who was chosen for the bloodline to come down. Uh -huh. Oh, hallelujah. You <laughs> can't figure God out. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. And then we find Rahab. Yeah. Oh, my, my, my. Rahab, number one, Rahab was a Gentile. Uh -huh. Amen. She's known in the Bible as Rahab the heart. I, I don't need to explain that. I hope I don't need to explain that to anybody. But, hello. Amen. She's known as Rahab the harlot. She is a liar and a Canaanite. The Canaanites were enemies to the Israelites, sworn enemies to the Israelites. But she married into the family bloodline and she gave birth to Boaz. And Boaz ended up marrying Ruth. Ruth was another one that's in the lineage of Jesus Christ. She's also a Gentile. Amen. Amen. Now, no misunderstanding because Ruth was a good woman. She was a good woman, but she had one thing against her. She was a Moabite. And the Moabites were a constant reminder of the incest that took place between Abraham's nephew Lot and his oldest daughter. Oh, I'm messing with y'all. You say, Pastor, surely all of this ain't in the Bible. Yeah, it is. It's there. You see, when, when, when God decided he was going to go down and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah for the wickedness that was taking place there. For Abraham's sake, he brought Lot and Lot's family out of the ones that would come anyway. He told them when you come out, don't look back. Well, when they were going out, his wife looked back. And when she looked back, she became a pillar of salt. See, that's a good example for you this morning not to ever look back. There's nothing behind you to go back to. Sin had, 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 sin brings problems yes. into your 
your life when you don't understand what's going on and you don't understand why some things is happening. A lot of times it's because there's sin in the camp. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to get somewhere this morning. Uh -huh. See, I'll just give you a little time here to get to where we're going. Uh -huh. And then we find that she believes now. Her name, you won't find it there in Matthew 1. It lifts her as the wife of your right. Uh -huh. All right. Hello. All right. And when it, listen, when, when, when I go through this and, and I'm reading these things, I'm wondering. The whole time, why is Matthew revealing these things? Uh -huh. Think about it. Hello. Uh -huh. And we find that she, but she was an adulteress. Uh -huh. Mary David, after, after he had her husband killed, and then she gave birth to Solomon. Uh -huh. Hello. Uh -huh. And then King Solomon, everybody knows about King Solomon. The Bible says he was the wisest man in the world, uh -huh. but he had problems. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can see the wisdom in some areas, but I can't see it in others. Uh -huh. Amen. Because he allowed his wives, and he had a bunch of them. Uh -huh. so let me just fit in, in case you don't know, he had about a thousand of them. Uh -huh. Woo! And I know you probably think you're passing with the wisdom in that. I don't know. Because <laughs> <coughs> I can't handle one. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute now, Pastor. Boy, what are you talking about? This, this is King Solomon? He was, a, he was an uptight, up, 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 and, 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 and an upright. He was, he was, he was a upscale. I mean, that's who you want in your, in your lineage. He, the Bible says he was the wisest man that was ever born. Uh -huh. <coughs> but he allowed, he allowed all of his wives, and like I said, he had a bunch of them. Uh, he allowed them to worship false gods. All right. Uh -huh. And you know what happened? It caused him to become an idolater. All right. Hello. Amen. And then we find King Rehoboam, mm -hmm. who was the son of Solomon, mm -hmm. who split the nation of Israel in half, mm -hmm. split it in, in two, with his harsh ways, his heavy taxes, and his idolatry, because he wanted to, he wanted to keep up the luxurious lifestyle. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Hello. Amen. Yeah. Money is not the root of all evil, but the love of it is. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Uh -huh. Money has called the, the love of money has called a lot of people to fall short. Uh -huh. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. And then I'm going to look at one more just, just for a moment here. King Manasseh, mm. who sacrificed his own son to an idol, <coughs> among many of the other detestable things that he done. Uh -huh. And you see, many of the kings in Jesus' line were wicked and evil kings. Uh -huh. They worshiped false gods, yes. they done many cruel things. Yes. But now I'm sure this morning. I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure this morning that every family has skeletons in the closet that they would like to keep there. Uh -huh. You don't have to say amen this morning. Uh -huh. uh, we know they're there. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But in Jesus' case, these deeds are, are right there in the Scripture. They're, they're right here in the Bible for all of us to see. Uh -huh. There's nothing hidden in the Word of God. There's nothing hidden about Jesus. There's nothing hidden about His lineage. It's all right there, wide open for everybody to see. Amen. Praise God. And rather than cover it up, uh -huh. Matthew intentionally includes these individuals in the lineage of Jesus. Uh -huh. That's right. And you read it and, and you look at the people and, and you look at their lives and you look at the things that they live. Listen, we didn't have time to go through all of them. Uh -huh. Amen. And you look at all of these things and you got to ask yourself the question, but why? Uh -huh. But why? Uh -huh. You see, the genealogy of Jesus is not pretty. Uh -huh. It's not pretty and, and it's certainly far from being perfect. Uh-huh. 
Hello. Amen. It's a long line of sinners, a long line of, 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 of shady characters. Mm -hmm. So why? Why include them? Why did, why, did, why did Matthew put them out there for everybody to see? I believe what it does this morning, church. I believe what it does is this. It sets us up perfectly for the angel's message to Joseph in verses 20 and 21 of Matthew chapter 1 where the angel, where the angel goes to Joseph. Uh-huh. Here, here's Joseph and, and you got to understand Joseph and, and all that Joseph is going through. Uh -huh. Here's Joseph. He's he been betrothed to Mary who, who's supposed to be a virgin. Amen. I say supposed to because he probably got some doubts right now. Uh -huh. and, and, and the reason that we know that is because the Bible says he's thinking about putting her away. Uh -huh. And doing it privately because he don't want to make her a public example. He, he's thinking about all of these things. Here's this wife that I've been betrothed to. She's supposed to be a virgin. And I find out she's with a child. Hello. Amen. <coughs> Come on, he's been thinking what all of us would have been thinking. That's right. Because we're all human. That's right. and, and, and here he is, he's thinking about these things. But the Bible said that the angel of the Lord comes to him. Amen. And he begins to reveal things to Joseph. And listen to what the angel says to him. He says, for that which is conceived in Mary is of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you know, me being chosen, you know, I, I feel like, you know, I'm, 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 I'm here and, 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 and maybe God's showing me a vision, maybe, maybe I'm having a dream, anyway, but if whatever it is, it's so real uh -huh. that the angel of God comes and speaks to me. Yeah. Come on. Comes to speak to Joseph. Come on. And says, listen to me, First of all, he says, fear not. Yeah. Right. Don't be afraid. Amen. Amen. He said, that which is conceived in Mary yes. is not of man. Uh -huh. It's of God. Yes. Okay? It's of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And I'll be like, But if Joseph knows the word, come on. If Joseph knows the prophecy, uh -huh. Then Joseph knows this is a possibility. Amen. Mm -hmm. Joseph has got to, I'm sure Joseph has got to be thinking this is the time, the time is right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because it's been, listen, it's been 400 years and God ain't said a word. Uh -huh. Right. From, from, from the last book in the Old Testament, the book of Malachi, to the time that Jesus comes and is born, God is silent. He doesn't speak through a prophet. Mm -hmm. He doesn't it. speak through anybody. For 400 years, God is silent. That's right. Amen. I was thinking about that the other day, and I got to think about it. You know, the world had to be, by the end, the world had to be a wicked place. Oh, yes. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Kind of like the way it is today. Yes. Yes. But here we are, the, the angel comes and, and, he, and, he, and he begins to speak to Joseph and he gives Joseph the message. He says, For that which is conceived in Mary is of the Holy Spirit, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. And here he is, for he shall save his people from their sin. Yes. So when, when Matthew gives us the lineage of Christ, the genealogy of Christ, I believe that he is setting us up for the message that the angel gives to Joseph. He's coming. His name shall be called of Jesus. He is of God. He is of the Holy Spirit. His name is Jesus. And he's coming to save his people from their sin. Hey! Because Jesus' family tree is full uh -huh. of unlikely characters. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, you, when you read the names of Jesus' ancestry, uh -huh. you see some who did great heroic things, some did despicable things, and some done both. But you know what? That's the same way that we are. Some of us are good, some of us are bad, and some of us are in between. For we've all it's all in short by the glory of God. 
say it. Amen. You know what I see? Uh -huh. I see the grace of God. Amen. Can you say it? Amen. You see, God's grace is always remarkable. It's always remarkable no matter who the recipient is. And when we, when we consider the lives of some of these men and women that are listed, it is impossible to ignore that His grace is freely bestowed on the undeserving, the undesirable, and the unlikely. Just take a look this morning at the shepherds. You take a look at the shepherd in, in, in Luke chapter 2. Uh -huh. When you think about the shepherd, when, let me tell you what you'll find out about the shepherd in Jesus' time. They were guessed. Uh -huh. yeah. The shepherds were undesirables. Yeah. They, were, they were unclean. Uh -huh. They weren't allowed into the temple. They weren't allowed to give testimony uh -huh. in court. All right. Called they were under law. Uh -huh. right. But I want to tell you something this morning. Uh -huh. It was the shepherds that the angel appeared to and gave the message, Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Yeah. For unto yeah. you is born this day in the city of David a, a Savior, which is yeah. Christ the Lord. Yeah. Yes. 
but God saw fit one day to save me. Yes. And he grafted me Thank into you. his family tree. Yes. I was an unlikely, I was an undesirable, yes. and I was undeserving yes. of all of those things. But one day, yes. he looked down upon me. Yes. Hallelujah. He saw something in me that nobody else saw. Yes. He Legitimate. Uh -huh. 
Oh, come on, think about it. Think Hallelujah. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. I was born again, not of the blood of man, hallelujah, not of the will of man, as the Bible said, but I was born of the will of God, by the Spirit of God, hallelujah. I was born again, hallelujah, by the power. Yes. Somebody give him praise. 